Hi everyone, it's Nick, and today I'm going to review the anime series uh, Magi, the sequel to it, the sequel to the first one, Labyrinth of Magic, called Kingdom of Magic. And Kingdom of Magic was also produced by studio with A1 Pictures, and they also did a really good job on it, as, you know, as usual. Uh, it ran from October 6, 2013 to March 30th, 2014. 25 episodes, and also part of the manga series. Uh, so I thought it was pretty good overall. Um, in some way, in ways, it made improvements over the first series. The first series, if you see my review, it, the, the plot was a bit all over the map. So I thought it was nice that they or they slowed it down and. You know, they focus on a few different things that have tend to cram, you know, cram a bunch of different types of storylines together. So, it made an improvement there. Uh, also, you know, added more character development. You know, slowing it down there will develop the characters a bit better, which I thought was nice. Um, this season starts out. I'm going to try to say without saying too much about it. Um, the first season, you know, they stop um, an attack on a, a country, you know, from a giant monster and, you know, one of the villains of the series. So, and they stop him and then they, Alibaba and Wadden go on the journey to, you know, prove themselves and get, you know, stronger and better at fighting. But, um, well, it starts out, you know, they're on their way to where they're going to, you know, different places they're going to go train and, you know, they get attacked by pirates. You know, and then Aladdin gets, um, well, it happens kind of early in the series, so it's not spoiling too much, I guess. It is kind of a slight spoiler. He gets uh, abducted by the pirates and then uh, Alibaba and co company have to go rescue him from the pirate cove. And then they rescue him and it kind of goes from there, so I won't say too much more, but yeah, I thought it opened up really well and, you know, they had, uh, and throughout the series, you know, our Bob and the Latin are separated. They, Latin goes to kind of a, uh, the Magi training school, you know, basically the magicians, uh, Magis are like magicians with, um, can summon the jinn or genies, uh, he goes there, and then the Wadden, or Baba goes to, uh, where did he go again? He didn't show a lot of Alibaba what he was doing. Mostly focused on Aladdin for a while. Uh, yeah, I don't, they didn't show as much of what um, Alibaba was doing. They mostly focused on Aladdin for a while, and then uh, Alibaba was, but he, his training took, kind of took place off screen, but... And they eventually meet up together again, and anyway, I won't say much more. Um, the pot is tighter in this season overall. Uh, let's see. Uh, again, kind of the same things like music, anime. I thought they were really good as well in this season. Uh, somewhere that had similar music, and uh, they had. Um, Arabian, ancient Arabian type music, um, it did, it did add, I don't remember it being in the first season, they added, um, you know, some kind of generic, uh, well, I guess maybe it's a criticism I had, they added some generic battle music, you know, like heavy guitar and stuff, I, I thought it was a little, you know, compared to other music, it felt a little, um, cliched and a little out of place, but, you know, overall, the music was good. Other than that, the music they used was great as usual. Uh, so, yeah, I reckon if you've seen the first season, I do recommend it. It was a pretty good season overall, I guess. I guess another... Oh, besides um, the music, you know, some of the battle music being a bit generic and cliched, um, I guess the only other criticism I have, I thought the finale... I thought most of the season was really quite entertaining and 
exciting, but then the finale was a bit, I don't know, it was a bit lackluster. I didn't really think it was quite as good as it could have been, but... And maybe they're trying to force too much at the end. I mean, it wasn't bad or anything. It wasn't uh, Promised Neverland levels of awful, but... I don't know. I, I thought compared to the rest of the series, I thought it was a bit, a bit of a letdown. But they did leave it open. They left it kind of somewhat open where they could do a continuation. So hopefully they do a continuation. They also have... Which, I don't know. Either, it might be what they do next if they continue. Um, they have a... Another a prequel series called Magi Adventures of Sinbad came out kind of simultaneously with the main series. They had it ran from 2013 to 2018 manga series. Uh, I don't know much about it. I haven't read the manga, but apparently it you know it takes place before the events of the series and you know it focuses on Sinbad and how he got to where he was. So. Hopefully they'll um, adapt that one, if anything. Now they're you know, continue, you know, kind of doing their season. I don't, I don't know what they would do necessarily, but I guess they could continue. You know, if they don't do the prequel series adaptation, they could um, continue, you know, showing the adventures of Al Goblin Aladdin, you know, and friends, you know, like Morgiana and stuff. They could show them, so. I don't know, we'll see what they end up doing. Uh, I give it about the same as uh, the first season, 8.5 out of 10. I mean, despite a couple criticism, it's quite enjoyable showing, you know, series set in an Arabian setting. You know, it has great music, great, well, overall great music. It has great, um, characters are pretty fun and, you know, great battles and, you know, great world building. So, yeah, it's a great series, uh. Uh, just like the first one, it's also it's on Hulu. Oh wait, no. I think only the if anything, the first season is on Hulu. Kingdom Magic isn't. It's on Crunchyroll. Both are on Crunchyroll. And then uh, sub. There's no um, in English audio, even though they had an English sub. And then uh, Netflix has both of them, but Kingdom Labyrinth of Magic and Kingdom of Magic. They have it. Uh, Subbed and also, you know, the English dub, you know, with English voice actors. Now, like I said with the first one, I would have preferred to watch it dubbed, like usual, but they, you know, I don't have Netflix, I had Crunchyroll at the time. So I watched it in Crunchyroll, but it was subbed, but overall, it kept my interest. I mean, normally, I mean, for me to watch something subbed, it has to hold my interest enough. So it definitely held my interest. It's quite... I mean, besides a couple of the last episodes, I thought it was quite entertaining, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review of Kingdom of Magic. And um, if you enjoyed my video, please leave a like and subscribe, if you could, please. And, you know, look out for any more videos I do, and hope you all have a uh, great day.